I can't do that. No one's going to pay me money for that. How am I ever going to do that? That's not even a real business. Hi, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. And today I want to talk about how to get over yourself. How to actually have a business that you love, that keeps you from being distracted because you love it so much, that helps you stop doubting yourself and helps you do the things that you were born to do. I wanted to do this video because I find that a lot of really intelligent, smart, heartfelt people, oops, I'm not wearing my mask, who really should be the ones that are totally rocking it. Many, before they really discover how to, how to do this, uh, just lose confidence in, in their own talent and expertise. And so if that's you, this video is for you. Because it's you that were born to do what you were meant to do. And this whole thing about, I really want to do this, uh, or I, this is something that I often hear. Uh, I can't do that, uh, you know, or I waste my time doing this, and it's like something that is like a passion. You know, I waste my time drawing instead of actually working. Or I waste my time uh, doing graphics or, or, or being creative or spending time with my kids um, and I should be working. And so then you never build your business. Don't you see that what interests you, that's called passion. It lives inside your soul. And when you try to fit passion into a cookie cutter box, what ends up happening is that you don't fit into a box. And all of those great ideas you had, all the talent, so many different things, they then you start to doubt yourself. Oh, well, you know, I'm not good at this. I need to go learn some more things. And this is how the human mind works is that we build our models of reality by getting rid of things. And because your brain, in all its infinite possibility, can only focus on 40 bits of information at a time out of the 11 million, 11 million bits are entering your, your, your field at all times. We as humans can only focus on 40. And you know what that means? is that your true genius, every time you take in things that don't matter to you, gets rid of little bits of information. And that passion that once lived inside of you gets shoved to the bottom. And what once made you thrive and made you super confident, it just dies. And every time you shut down your voice, you shut down your voice and you know what happens then you shut down your heart that exercise I, I did I, t I helped uh, I taught the other day about where you feel the thing if you made a list of all the things that you love and all the things that make you thrive where you feel that it's in your body because it makes it brings you life and all those things that cloud it live in your head those 60 to 80,000 thoughts 80% negative that live in your head they live in your head and that's not what gives you life so I just want to put this out there that what if what if that thing that you really want to do the thing you think no one will buy that thing that you feel is not a business, what if you just started? What if you just started writing? What if you just claimed a URL? What if you just put it out there? And you didn't do it for anybody but you. You just did it 
because you wanted to, because your soul wanted to sing. And what if you decided that's what I'm going to pursue? This is going to be my lifetime passion. I am going to make a business out of this. I am going to make this my life. Because every day that goes by that you don't, you don't get it. Don't you see that your dreams, they die as dreams if you don't make them reality. Nobody comes by one day and says, you know all those dreams that you had? Woohoo! Now you can have, yeah, you can have it. It doesn't happen. If you stare at a piece of, of at, a, at a cookbook, of cookies all day long, they'll never manifest into reality until you go to the store and make one or buy one. Your dreams, they just live in here. But you never make them a reality. All you have to do is just start, is just to trust yourself. Because I guarantee you, that thing that you doubt so much is your answer. It's your answer to stop beating yourself up in your head. It's your answer to following your passion, living your dreams, and maybe what if that thing is the one thing that is keeping you from the success that you were meant to have? Because every time you try to go for it and you shut it down, it gets shut down. Just like the dream, it just dies. You have to believe in yourself. You have to trust yourself and trust that you were put on this earth for a reason. We all were. You know, uh, A Course in Miracles says, if a miracle isn't happening, something has gone wrong. If you aren't loving yourself, when you wake up in the morning, and I'm not talking every day because some days, you know, it just, it's hard. And you know what? Once you start pursuing your dreams, it's still going to be hard. But you're going to be pursuing your dreams and you're going to push harder. You know why? Because they're your dreams. And you're so passionate about it and you spend so much time thinking about it and work and, and, Building it, building the model of reality in your mind. And why have you not started? Why have you not trusted that that is your thing? Why haven't you decided that that is your thing? Because I'm telling you, this year I'm 50. I was 28 yesterday. <laughs> you may not believe that, but I was 28 yesterday. And... I, I know, at least for me, I still feel like I'm 28. All those years that went by, they just flew by. But the reality is, wow, half my life's over. <laughs> and I spent half my life with my dreams in my head, thinking that one day I was going to wake up and they were going to happen. Because I dreamed about it all the time. And then I went down so many different rabbit holes thinking that that was what I had to do. And then feeling like I don't fit in because that clearly was just a detour. And you know what? That's not, that wasn't supposed to be my path. Katy Perry has a song and it's called, uh, I think, Firework. And if you just listen to the lyrics, it will, you know, she, she says in the lyrics, uh, maybe all your dreams or maybe everything that you've done, all the doors were closed because it was pointing you to the one thing that the door that you were meant to go through, that's sitting there open for you. It's just that you've been trying to go through all these doors that weren't open for you and you found a dead end. And that one door that's just been sitting there, it's just been sitting there open. It's like, come through me, this is the door. And you just ignore it. That's what it's like. 
there's this uh, uh, fairy, I don't know if it's a fairy tale or I, I don't, it's not called a fairy tale, uh, let's see, myth, that Houdini uh, uh, wanted to try to escape from uh, a prison. And so they had these people, he went, he went to like the, the highest security prison and they shut him in the cell and they locked him in all these chains and everything and he, his, he had to get out. So he picked the locks on his uh, wrists off and uh and and he sat there and he tried to unlock the door he was like trying all these different things and and it wasn't clicking he was waiting for that click to see is this going to work is this going to work and he got he was so exhausted after trying all day that he just fell to the ground in exhaustion and leaned against the door and it flung open because it was never locked in the first place. Every time you settle, because that's what that is when you're not pursuing what you really want, every time you settle for something and then you have this other heartfelt thing, just because you're scared to pursue that heartfelt thing, it kind of kills off a part of you and in fact, research shows that what actually affects our genetics is our nutrition and our minds. That nowadays, there's so much disease, cancer and all of that. We all have cancer cells inside of us and negative thought combined with a bad diet will cause you to express negative cells within inside of you. And that results many years of abuse in your mind that comes through and into your body. Because your passion lives in your body. And the stress that it creates to not pursue your passion, to shut down your voice, Remember I said on that list that where everything like comes alive, it's in your stomach, it's in your body, it's in your heart, and it makes you thrive. And on the other side, all the things, the reasons why you can't lives in your head. All those negative thoughts that live in your head, that are blocked, they shut down your body. And then your body starts to respond. So autoimmune disease is when your body is attacking itself. It's when your healthy cells start attacking your, health, your healthy cells. They think that it's foreign. Just like how when you don't pursue your passion it's, and, you, and you start doing something that you think you have to I think I have to have a business because this will sell. I think I have to do this because this person's teaching it. But it kind of feels awkward, but I'm still going to go for it. So that once truly healthy body and mind starts attacking itself. This is wrong, but I'm still going to do it anyway because this is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, you know, and meanwhile, that thriving thing inside of you is like, you know, Wow. That cre I'm so creative and I want to get out. And so, you know, you try to squeeze it in or it just sits in your mind and, and you're like, oh, well, someday I'm going to get to it. And then one day you're 28 and the next day you're 49. Your parents have died. <laughs> you watch your body deteriorating. Why? And especially, because I see many of your faces, if you have children, wow. You think that working hard at a job that you don't like or that's not making you come alive is how you want to teach your children well. What if you showed them what it's like to pursue your passion? To work so hard, not because you have to, but because you love what you do so much because it makes you come alive. Stephen Pressfield says, each of us have two lives. 
the life the life and uh, that we live and then we have the life unlived inside of us I don't want to die with an unlived life inside of me I don't know about you but I'm really creative and I have five million ideas every single day but they all focus around some general things so I'd like for you to do that video I, I did the other day the abundance one but also to write down like two to three things that you find that you keep getting driven to like for me it's like fashion creativity um, uh, be, things that are beautiful like things that they all fall under it, on the on the creative side and then make another list of all the logical things like all the things that that you like uh, read up on the, the the mindset things that you do so for me it's like you know Bruce Lipton is is uh, you know everything falls under my my e2 personal blueprint in my business but it's you know the science of epigenetics and and how we are able to reverse our own genetics those things and, and how our mind works you know I always talk about the three brains those things are like literally just I just focus on them 24 7 and you have something like that too so that's called your logical brain and your creative brain combine logic with creativity and you know what that results in a business that solves a problem and an urgent problem for somebody the problem you solve is that thing that people are googling it's what they know to be true I want to lose weight I want to clear my skin I want to build a business they're googling it it's it's just factual but what everyone's teaching you about that being the urgent problem, that is not the urgent problem. Because for one person, being overweight, you know, they love it. Right? The urgent problem you solve is that thing that you, your creativity, your life experience, your heart, solve. It's because you were born you that you uncovered this thing behind the thing <laughs> and it solves it makes it the problem urgent for the person that you help do you see that there is a way to make money living your passion and if you get this right, you can now make money living your passion, believing in yourself, even when you don't. And you know why you're going to do that? Is because you're tired of being mediocre. You're tired. I, I'm tired. I'm tired of following other people. I'm a rebel. I don't like following people. <laughs> you try to put me into a box and I just suffocate I'm not willing to spend my life suffocating I'm not willing to settle and I'm certainly not willing to be mediocre and so if you want to live that unlived life and make it be the life that you live the legacy that you leave then all you have to do is just start you don't have to do anything amazing right now because you know what the amazing thing is that you're gonna do is to trust yourself you don't need validation you don't need permission it's just a an inside decision that says you know what I'm just I don't even know I don't even know that Shauna girl <laughs> I, I have no idea what she's saying, but it feels good. And so I'm going to go towards what feels good. Because you know what also happens when you feel good and when you're happy? You don't care what other people think. 
When you really start getting happy being you, you really stop caring what other people think. It's kind of like, oh well, they're not my people. Let me just trust this and speak my mind and see what happens. And when you get scared, just realize that you're okay. You know, you still have your arms and your heart and you're still beating and wow, you, you still have the power to make decisions. And in fact, these decisions now are towards you, your life. You're a gift. Can you not understand that? That that's just not a catchy phrase. You know, look good, feel good, all those things. Somebody said them for a reason. <laughs> They're not just a, a good hashtag to use. You know, one of the most popular hashtags on Instagram is happy place, happiness. You know, you know what everyone's looking for? Happiness. If you do what you love in your business and you're so happy, do you know what people are going to buy? Anybody? It's called confidence and happiness and your conviction in what you do. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself. Out of 7 billion people in the world, one of them was you. You made it through a birth. You made it from growing up to from this tiny little thing into the person that you are. You've lived through so many challenges. You've cried. You've laughed. And now it's just your time. It's just your time to shine. So I just want to leave you with that because I know, you know, I, I, I see some of your faces or some of your names and you're, you're all younger than me. And I've spent my life literally beating myself up in my head for not being good enough. And I wish somebody would have told me this a whole lot sooner and that I would have trusted it. So don't trust me, trust yourself, believe in yourself, believe in your creativity, believe in your own talent, because I know there are times when you do, and every time there is, you're one step closer. Every time you get that, like, I, I'm going to do this, don't stop, go reserve a URL, go write it down, and then write the next step that you're going to do the next day. And then every day, work at least 15, it's the before I go to bed. Before I go to bed, I'm going to work on this passion project. It's not a passion, it's going to be my life. Or if you're really brave, say, fuck it. This is what I'm going to do. Because I guarantee you, the more effort you put into this, the faster it will happen. And your happiness is right there. Your success. And I have a feeling that is your money code. That that thing that you want to do that you think won't sell, that you think can't be a business, is probably the secret to your success. I don't have the key. You do. So that's it. If you want to come to my class tomorrow, the link's at the bottom of the page. I didn't do this video for the class. I really just did it because um, I really want to see the good people in this world shine. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.